very good morning to one and all so today we talk about the introduction about the chromatography so from the analytic chemistry part 2 so what is uh, chromatography so chromato so comes from the are uh, derived from the greek words so chromo nothing but is a color so color it will chromatography provides a way to identify the unknown compounds and separate the mixtures from various organic or inorganic as well as so many uh, materials from the chemist so it is uh, most important uh, in the all the sector of especially industries pharmaceutical industries and uh, cement industries and uh, so many drug uh, industries so it's a play role in the all the sectors and uh, so the main application of the chromatography to prepare the so many drugs and uh, research innovation side as well as the pharmaceutical sites as well as the forensics so these are the main application for the chromatography and what are the types of chromatography is there so so many types of uh, uh, chromatography is there so first of all this is a paper chromatography and second one thin layer chromatography and column chromatography gas chromatography high pressure liquid chromatography shortly we call hplc chromatography so these are the types so now uh, is a minimum one so many chromatography is there only gas chromatography and hplc gcms chromatography so these are the recent innovative chromatography is there and one, one of the special techniques ion exchange chromatography is also there okay so then now we move to the special one is a thin layer chromatography so here the play the major role is sample sample is a marker one so we here see about the blue color yellow color and uh, pale green colors okay so these are the so many dyes uh, uh, available in our uh, uh, food factories and so many dye factories so here the sample sample is nothing but this is a dye molecule is a sample and uh, some uh, sometimes we are using so many markers so color markers and uh, uh, the painting markers so these are the so many colors actually so they are uh, 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 separated from the so many mixture of molecules so these markers will be used for the so many applications here how to make a separately blue color marker and pink color marker and red color markers okay so through the thin layer chromatography here the standard that means so fixed phase is food dyes so we here the paper is act as a stationary phase another one is mobile phase is a water or some other solvents like uh, organic solvents inorganic solvents they are using most probably some non polar and polar solvents they are using some percentage of solvents also we are used to separate which is the um, major compound um, uh, which one is we have to uh, isolate from the mixture of compounds okay so then so these are the so many dyes like yellow dye pink dye red dyes and blue dyes some major components so sometimes we have to prepare the the uh, on certain sand so it will get the mixture of some dyes so we have to separate each and everything especially yellow pink dye red and blue color each and everything we have to separate through the so many chromatographies so here the paper chromatography and thin layer chromatography almost the same uh, principle is working there so here we have to select some spot like um, through the chromatography okay so here what will happen so each dies will travel up the paper or tlc plate at different speed okay the speed depends upon the, the solubility of dyes in water and its interact with the paper okay the dyes are are different molecules with the different characters because the yellow dye is a different molecule and blue dye is a different molecule is so everything is comes as a dye molecules but it each and every molecule have a different speed to travel the particular um, the medium in the especially the paper as well as the, the thin plate like the thin silica gel like okay so here so uh, paper chromatography as well as the thin layer uh, chromatography we based on the calculate the result like this so we have two spot one is a reaction spot another one is a product spot so reactant spot is a dye spot or dye mixtures we are using 
and the marker spot especially the blue color or yellow color or pink color we have to use that that di my molecule taken as a sample is a protein spot the black spot we call as a black uh, so di molecules okay so we can use some solvents like uh, water or some other uh, um, solvents like acetone or ethyl acetate or chlorofluorocarbons whatever we can use based on the the solubility of the molecules okay so we can use this we can run this um, uh, chromatography by using solvent so using the you know, so elution chamber the after this elution we can uh, apply some uh, um, color dye molecules or we can uh, uh, visible we, we can calculate from the using by chamber uv chambers okay so uv light through uv light we can also find out that so here we have find out three different uh, um colors so first of all reaction spot we have two spot one is pink and the one is blue color and product spot we have three colors one blue and uh, uh, pink as well as the yellow pale yellow so three different spot is there so so what we conclude this uh, after the reaction we can get the some product so the product identify through this uh, chromatography this is a very micro level process here we won't uh, isolate so many molecules in just we can check whether reaction is happen or not so that is a main hope or main theme of the com compound uh, so this is uh, uh, how to calculate the our molecule is so r of factor is a main important one so that is a distance travel from the, the from the origin line and how many is the, uh, the reaching point that, that is a difference between the um, uh, product and the reactants okay that is a value we can calculate from the r of values okay so through this uh, uh entire experiment especially the thin layer chromatography we can find out the which molecule is there and at the end of the experiment we would like to each persons and to conclude the rf value as well as the which of the molecules is uh, contain the particular mixtures okay we can isolate what we got to isolate that and which uh, color is blue or which color is yellow and which color is and pink so we can identify this so so many application we can see in further classes oh, thank you so much